Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name's Our Life for Set Play Gaming. This is the FC24 Colchester United career mode. We're doing Coil Season 2, Episode 31. Before we begin today's episode, we're going to go through some new blood that we've brought into the team. Billy Davy, a 19 year old English shot stopper, has come in from the free agency, has been identified as a future talent. And this guy, honestly, he's got a right good. Um, Positioning, kicking, handling, diving and reflexes similar to his overall so he should replace the academy goalkeepers that are broken that are coming through. We've already sent Billy Davy out, um, he's agreed a short loan move to St Mirren for the rest of the season so he'll join up with them when January kicks off. Another player, Conor McNulty, a right back from Ireland joins us, you can see here from this screen um, on his physical and mental, the overall at the top has already gone up by five. He's on loan at Crew Alexandra. We already loaned him out. Um, so this guy already joined Crew for us. And there is his technical page. When he is out on loan, we just have to keep an eye on his short pass, and it's already quite high. Peter O'Leary is an Irish central defensive midfielder. Central midfielder, he's six foot one. You can see as well that he has good stamina base good jumping and good acceleration and uh, we just need to work on his sort of defensive work for now I don't anticipate him making too much of an impact this season but with a view to maybe coming in and playing some rotation matches in the next season we'll see if we can get this guy out on loan as well uh, between now and the end of the season as you can see this guy has five different player styles Aerial, Relentless, Power Header, Jockey and Anticipate in a 6 foot 1 frame. He's already 59 overall so he can come in next season I think and stake a place for some rotation games. The final guy, 6 foot 3, 19 year old Irish striker Niall McConnell and this kind of fits Owen Coyle's striker mould. You can see from our lineup of strikers with Tovide and um, Ionvian this guy kind of fits the mould and he's about a year younger uh, we want to try and loan this guy out as well just to try and develop him a little bit uh, but those are the new blood coming in and coming up in today's episode we're going to finish off December's fixtures we've got Crawley Town away on the Saturday the following Saturday we play Stevenage at home and then we finish on the 31st of December with a match against Swindon Town away in the league. Let's crack on with today's show and hopefully pick up some wins. So looking to close out 2024 as we take on Crawley here. And if we win today, it will be our fifth consecutive win. Um, and that dates back to episode 29 when we beat Salford City 1-0 in the FA Cup. That was after a poor run of two, two games back-to-back -back defeats to top of the table teams and we're looking to put in a solid performance here Kyle going with the rotation and Kyle Taylor with a through ball to Jay on 15 minutes out comes Shock and meets him halfway and that was only made possible because Jay's heavy touch as he tried to get away from the defenders and then just a few moments later Shock's going to send it into midfield but Dallison gets first to the ball as he moves up steps up from defence it's then played in Hopper Jay plays it in, Mello with a heavy touch, allows the goalkeeper to come racing off his line. He's certainly a very active goalkeeper, likes to come out and meet the attackers. Taylor into Shields, Jay has to score here but he ends up putting it wide on 26 minutes. We haven't broken the deadlock yet. Jay Williams going into the referee's book for an earlier foul on Matt Jay. <coughs> One Jay to another. Mellor into Greenwood, Greenwood into Reed, Reed into Jay, back to Reed, pulling the strings from deep from midfield, into Taylor, flicks it on, Shields to the back post here, and it's Mellor's header looking for the corner, and it's a good save by Shock. Into the second half, looking to break the deadlock, it's McLaughlin into Shields, Shields into Hopper, lovely turn away from the defender, and he hits a low daisy cutter past Shock. And we have an opening. It is the veteran striker Tom Hopper. It's not the first time he's been forgotten about by Owen Coyle. In season one we had Joe Taylor on loan. And it kind of relegated Hopper to third choice striker. And then he kind of emerged at the end of the season as 
a really reliable striker in this league. And then in season two, it's been basically Ionvian coming back off loan, kind of relegated Hopper back to, set to third choice striker. And here he is making a nuisance of himself as we break out from a corner on the counter attack. It shields into Hopper. Hopper allows the ball to settle before striking it past Chuck. And it is two goals for Tom Hopper here. So he did go through a period, I think, where he started missing chances and there was a little bit of concern about whether he'd be able to keep scoring. Um, I do think if we get an offer for him, I think he has to go simply because we'll be probably playing League One football next year. And Crawley looking to try and get a goal back here on 73 minutes. They're looking for this cut back, but we keep selecting the right players. They finally get a shot away. Smith makes the save. And they're going to try and bring this ball back. Lolos with a shot. Blocked by Dallison. Comes out. Adonko hits the post. Kind of just so trying to select the right players here. Kelly. And then back to Thompson. Thompson back to Kelly. Into Lolos. And it's saved by Smith. And then on 75 minutes they do get the breakthrough. Finally Dallison's pulled out. And he Adonko into Lolos on his left. And he tucks it in past Smith at the near post bit disappointed with this one because we defended pretty well and kept them out but to lose the clean sheet here and of course it's only 2-1 so there's pressure now on the players to step up again and make sure we don't throw this lead away and we make sure of this on the counter attack here Thomas takes it off Ionvian plays in Jay Cooper and on the counter attack the players struggling to get back Maguire can't get there and Cooper slides it between the legs of shot and it is 3-1 their lead or a potential um, revival of the home side only lasted 8 or 9 minutes Cooper here you'll see look just opens up his body nicely waits for shock to commit and we know that from the first few chances that shot likes to come out and meet the attacker and Cooper did a brilliant job there of scoring that one. So the rotation players get the job done here, largely thanks to the performance of veteran striker Tom Hopper. And even though we lost the clean sheet, we come away with three points and it is five consecutive wins in all competitions as we head now to take on Stevenage in the next game. All right, taking on Stevenage, quick shout out here to Matthew Skull 7 Colchester fan, who commented in the last episode about Samson Tovide. I was saying his name Tovai, that's because I prefer to say it that way, but hey, if it's the Colchester fans want me to say Tovide properly, then I'll try and start doing that, best of my endeavours. Looking for win number six in consecutive competitions here as we take on Stevenage. It's not going to be easy because they like to press and Presley was pressing uh, Connor Hall as he took an extra touch there. Amos bailing him out early on. And then Ryu here wouldn't have a good game in the defence, Christoph Ryu uh, for Stevenage. They actually get another chance here as Forster Kasky shooting wide on 12 minutes. These are a handful to deal with and we would go a goal down on 15 minutes. Thompson playing in Lee Hee Kyun. The Korean striker finds the bottom corner. Lewis, I thought, had him. And you'll see in the replay here, he is actually in front of the, the ball. He's in the right position, but he misses the interception here. Look, just kind of runs past him and misses the interception. It's a little bit unfortunate because Lewis has been playing really well. Um... Steven is looking to add a second. Lewis with the interception there on 26 minutes. And a chance for us to break. I like to counter-attack this team. And they are difficult to play against Steven, like I said, because they love to press the ball. And that can make the game a little bit unstable. As the ball's played in here, um, it's a good interception by Van Kooten on Mingi in the box win the ball back here from Hall and now we can counter attack again Mingi looking to play through Matt J and Matt J in great chance and he tries to put it in the corner but he ends up putting past the post from Tayashby Hammond into the second half a goal down looking to make it 1-1 and it kind of made a pig's ear of this here not just offensively 
but Steven Echeris, Ryu gets the ball, he plays it back. A poor clearance by the goalkeeper, and what a finish from the left back. Elissi Angolo sees Ashby Hammond away from his goal line and punishes the mistake. It wasn't a fantastic goal for us from an offensive point of view because we just couldn't seem to break them down. But then they made an absolute pig's ear of the clearance. Um, try and uh, put a little bit of pressure on uh, Stevenage. And, you know, that can make the game, as I said, unstable because they like to press. And if you try and press a team that already likes to press, uh, things can get really wonky. Interception here by Van Kooten. Again, a high press given away to Edwards. And here comes Chilvers. It's across the ball into the corner. And within the space of six minutes, it is 2-1. Noah Chilvers. Another nice finish. <laughs> An emphatic finish from Chilvers. Hasn't scored many this season. Chilvers trying to get it through. Intercepted by Jay after Ryu gives the ball away. Chilvers then sets up Tovide. And it's a nice finish there. Into the corner. It is now 3-1 on 66 minutes. Samson Tovide. I think he's going to get 20 goals this season. He's definitely on pace. Pia Gianni runs past uh, Chilvers there. And Chilvers with the presence of mind to set up the striker. And like I said, although he hasn't got many goals, he definitely has lots of assists. Edwards having fun here with Anderson as he pulls him out wide. Checks back inside, goes back down the outside. Leaves Anderson for dead and then just drops the shoulder. See you later. Just can't get the ball and Tolvai tries to chest that win. Not Tolvai, Tolvide. Sorry, Tolvide tries to chest it. And um, here's Ryu's moment, epic moment. A meltdown after giving the ball away many times and missing tackles. He brings Tolvide down and on 91 minutes, 91 and a half minutes, he has seen the red card. The uh, red mist descends and the referee sends him off. The full-time score here, three goals to one. And... Uh, Kyle shakes hands with, I presume that's Steve Evans. He will not be happy with the uh, outcome of this result. Having led 1-0, they succumb to pressure in the second half. And we do win our sixth game consecutive. Third and final game of 2024 as we take on Swindon Town away. This is the lineup. There's a couple of changes. As you can see, Mellor's on the left. Ionvian's up front. And McLaughlin's in at right back. So a couple of changes here as the coil looks to just keep things fresh. It's going to be a busy Christmas and New Year period. Opening six or seven minutes. The ball's played across to Yandolo on the left. And his cross into the box is met by Bradley Ionvian. You can see how highly rated we rate this striker. Lovely chest here into the six-yard box. And uses that lengthy reach to get his uh, foot to the ball and knock it past Ward at the near post. That is a great athletic finish from the young striker. 14 minutes in, Amos's long ball into midfield. Blake Tracy intercepts and he's going to play the same. Kinsella into Uwakwe and an acceleration into the box. Pulls it back and Vokes is there. Sam Vokes makes it 1-1 on 15 minutes. It's a good finish from Vokes. We knew that these guys were going to give us trouble because they like to sort of use their pace. It's always going to be a tough match on away soil. Vokes with a finish there past the goalkeeper. The score was level, but not for very long. Ionvian causing problems in the box again as the ball comes down. Taylor holds off Godwin Malif and just slides that past Ward into the corner. And a nice finish from Kyle Taylor, who, let's be said, you know, he's, he's there on a rotation basis. He's not really meant to make that much of a difference. But if he can pop up in the box and provide a goal like this every now and then, or a nice pass through to the strikers, then we'll take it. Kyle Taylor with a nice side foot finish to put us back in front at two goals to one. And then on 28 minutes, Reed into Ionvian, into Chilvers, waits for the support, and Damani Mella 
just slides this into the corner. It is three goals to one now. We are running riot within the first 30 minutes. Although we've lost a clean sheet already, the fact that we are scoring so frequently should be encouraged. It's a nice finish again from Damani Mella. And as we go into half time, the lead is still 3 1. The main concern here is just to basically keep their pace and keep their um, physicality out of our box. We just need to do our job in the second half and we'll try and play some possession football. 53 minutes in, Hutton with a poor pass intercepted by Damani Mella into Ionvi and looking for his second. It sits up nicely and he decides to strike it. Ward getting across to make the save as they pull Sam Vokes from Romeo Giovannini. I'm not sure who this guy is. I think that's a FIFA transfer. I don't think he really plays for Swindon. Dallison's header cleared off the line. I wasn't sure whether that was a, a save by Ward or whether it was a header by the defender, but a goal line clearance there. 62 minutes in. Hepburn Murphy into Khan and it's a shot to the far post, Saidu Khan. And we see here from the replay, it's kind of an awkward save because it's almost behind Amos but he does well to claw it away. And then on the counter attack a few minutes later into Thomas and he's brought down and he's going to stay down Donnell Thomas. Taylor can't get the ball into Mella and Swindon can clear it. 70 minutes in, it's Khan pulling the strings into Hepburn Murphy, into McEachern. McEachern, great block from Dallison. Can't get the ball clear, it's Khan again. Khan into Giovannini and this time Amos gets across and makes a strong save with his left hand. And then on 82 minutes, Swindon pull a goal back, McEachern's ball in, it's knocked on by Dallison and Saidu Khan who has been kind of pushing from midfield finally does get a goal and he makes it 3-2 with 8 minutes left, the header has to be out there not behind him and um, it's set up nicely for Khan and he just hits that so sweetly into the corner. The ball's cleared here on 96 minutes, guys, 96 minutes. It is three goals to two. So this time, defensively not as good, but we still managed to score three goals on away soil and hold out for a narrow win in this five-goal thriller. Of course, I welcome your comments. And I just go check now on that injury. And it's unfortunate news. Janelle Thomas is to, to miss two months with a broken metatarsal and we'll have to obviously wish him well and hopefully it doesn't hinder his progress too much but he's already quite low rated. Alright, thanks for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll be back in a couple of days. We could kick off January 2025. We have two league matches taken on Carlisle and Sutton United. And we've been drawn against Norwich City in round three of the FA Cup. If you want to continue to support me, please consider subscribing. I'll see you guys in a couple of days. It's our lad for Set Play Gaming.